here we are, five years later, from the time, that's five years, but from the time I planted these rhododendrons when we took them out of the ground. Now you can see they're doing really good. This year, there's almost a point of growth on them. And they've grown up quite a bit from the day when there were just little, little plants with a couple small roots on them. You can see under here, I, uh, I put some, some old leaves and some fertile ground underneath them to, to start some more. And I did that over here. So we keep the ground fertile underneath them. And that'll help them start new plants without doing really too much uh, propagation. When hydrangeas for the home gardener are really uh, a tough thing to propagate. I've never really had too much success besides what I've done here and put old leaves and, and uh, fertile dirt underneath the plant, and that's how I get them to propagate. Now, so here you can see. It's just a little, this will be a little plant, but any any branch that's low to the ground, you can go ahead and, and put some uh, old leaves and dirt around them, and no no root on the road. You can see that's moist in there. And in time, that'll, that'll grow a plant. And you can start some really big plants by doing this without waiting a lifetime for them to grow into large plants and so you start a little a little cutting and, and you wait a long time for that to grow into a full size plant. And any any this would have been a good one to to have them not low or I can even put more uh, back in here if I wanted to propagate more plants. You can see they're laying low in the ground here. Here's another one. And more. So as these get bigger, I can just bend them down and get them porch on the ground. And we can start those into new plants. So for the home gardener, it's a good way to, to propagate rhododendrons without a lot of fuss and uh, pretty much guarantee propagation. And these, these bloom quite pink. You can see these are the blooms from this year. So we had a lot of blooms this year. So everything's going good with the rhododendrons that we propagated five years ago. They're kind of doing their own thing, and I'm going to start a couple more from them. But I just start a couple, a couple of plants every here and there. I'm not real big on uh, growing rhododendrons. That's how I do it, and these are the plants that I planted.